hello and welcome. It's your girl Notoria S with your educational how to videos in six minutes or less. Today, our featured tech tool is Thingling. Let's get it. As always, we're going to go over what is Thingling, what are the features of it, and what are the possible classroom uses. Thingling is a free web and app based digital platform that creates interactive content which allows for virtual learning and digital showcasing. It has a business side and an education side and I'll be discussing the educational platform. Okay, first you need to log on to thinglink.com slash edu and you'll be directed to this page. Then you'll go ahead and get started. Typical login won't go over it, but I'm going to log in. Now I am on my Thinglink homepage and you can see my media projects that are here. But before I go into how to actually use and create a thing link, I wanted to go over the pricing, because I think that's very important as educators. There is a free version, and then there is a paid version for starting at $35 a year, depending on how many students you have. But I wanted to go over the distinct differences. I think there are three main differences. The first one being, the free version does not allow you your use to add students and your students to connect. Second one is to be able to hide your tag pop-up bubbles. This way you won't have those icons in the center of your photo, but you'll be able to um, have it blank but still have the links there. And then the third one for me is to upload custom icons. I have the paid version, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect your students. You can have multiple groups within the paid version and how you connect them, you can always go in individually and add them through that email or export, but ain't nobody got time for that. I choose to just display my invite code and let them do it themselves. And I definitely have time for that. But remember, you only have the licenses for how many you bought. So I only bought 35, so even though I have multiple groups, I can only have 35 students total. In order to create a thing link, you're just gonna go to create, and you have a couple of options. I'm gonna go over how to upload the image, but you can also do a short video, which I'll show you quickly. If you upload a video, it's only 15 seconds, and within the video, you can have um, steam links within. You have the option of uploading a 360 image or video. You can do those or create those using your Google Street View, but we're not going to go through that. That's a whole different video. So we're going to upload an image today. Upload the image. You should already have it saved to your computer or to a flash drive, and then you need to make sure that you have your image the correct size two ways to accomplish this one is using a converter site you can just upload your image and then change the pixel so you want to have I like to use but a 900 by like 700 that'll give you about a 8 by 10 resolution. that way if you go full screen the picture is not distorted now if you're pulling a picture for online the other way to accomplish this is by going to your images in Google and then go to tools and then you're gonna go to size, and then you're gonna hit larger than whatever you want to use. So larger, and that way you'll be pulling from images that is within the, within the size range that you're looking for. Once you have your image uploaded, it is smooth sailing from there. So here's the icon that I've already recorded, and this is actually an audio recording. In is very hardworking. Then I have another link that I have put in that is a written description of the setting. I am going to add an image to show the plot of Little Red Hand. I'm going to click on the file and open it. And now my photo is linked here. And I'm able to, I can elaborate and tell and type in. I can customize the size, remove the image. And this is the button where you add your audio in if you want an audio. And I just click in an open field and I can create a new link. And this time I think I want to go to YouTube and link. Now I just paste this link there and now you can see the YouTube video shows up. 
If I want to customize my icon, which I love to do, you have the standard free ones that you can use. So then it will change. Or I could use upload the image, and that is with the paid version. As you can see, there are many possibilities in the classroom for theme link, virtual field trips, math, school, tours, science, all of these things you can utilize. Now with all of that being said, I want some feedback from you. What are some ways that you can use ThingLink with your students? Post that in the comments below. And that is ThingLink in six minutes or less. Remember to like and subscribe below. Victoria is out. Continue to empower.